Welcome to Wisdom for the Day, the podcast where we unpack the timeless wisdom of the book of Proverbs, one bite-sized nugget at a time. Join us daily as we journey through this ancient treasure trove of insight, offering practical wisdom for modern living. Get ready to start your day with clarity, purpose, and a deeper understanding of life's greatest lessons. This is Wisdom for the Day, your daily dose of Proverbs wisdom. Today is day 83. We're in the eighth chapter of the book of Proverbs, verses 34 through 36, from the New Living Translation. Joyful are those who listen to me, watching me daily at my gates, waiting for me outside my home. For whoever finds me finds life and receives favor from the Lord. But those who miss me injure themselves. All who hate me love death. In verses 34 through 35, if a man listens to wisdom, then he's going to benefit. This man does not just listen to one lesson and then walk away. Every day he wants more wisdom. He's like a child who's waiting at his mother's door. The child waits for a mother to wake so that she'll teach him. We should always want to learn more wisdom. God will be kind to us if we do this. In verse 36, if a man refuses wisdom, then he's going to suffer. His punishment is severe. A man who hates wisdom will die. In Proverbs, Wisdom points out that those who follow God's wisdom and understanding find life, and those who reject God's rules for creation find death instead. In Romans 6, Paul concluded the same thing. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. In Joshua 24, Joshua gives the Hebrew people a choice. If it seems evil to you to serve God, choose today whom will you serve. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We're all encouraged to think carefully and choose wisely. Now think about this. Before I read these verses, did you realize that all the laws, statutes, and commandments, instructions, and rules are in the Bible are not to punish us? but to help us live, to help us live an abundant life to the fullest. Did you know that? Well, that's all for today, but I'll be back tomorrow with more of Solomon's wise teachings. For free Wisdom of the Day merch, head to buymeacoffee.com slash renewed mindsets and consider becoming a community member. If you like this show, please tell someone about it and share it with them. The executive producer of Wisdom for the Day is Yelena McClellan. Intro music by Weston McCurry. Until tomorrow, I'm Rick. I love you. See ya.